How were maps made before satellites and other modern technologies? Cartography is an incredibly old practice, having existed for several millennia. Early forms of maps may have existed as long as 25,000 years ago, showing local terrain, carved or polished on mammoth tusks, cave sandstone, or other natural items. With time, larger cities and civilizations were formed, creating a greater need for maps, which also improved in quality. For example, ancient Babylonia made maps using land surveying techniques, having professional surveyors measure land using tools like a measuring rope and a unit rod. Although mostly used for dividing land plots for agriculture, these tools were also for maps, the most infamous being from the 6th century BC, the earliest ever known map of the world. Ancient Greece and Rome also helped advance cartography, many of their maps being lost to history. The Romans, for example, used tools such as the Groma, Dioptra, and Corobates to survey land, helping measure straight lines, angles, and level surfaces. Greco-Roman cartographer Ptolemy was an important contributor, as his Atlas Geographica included an index with the latitude and longitude, legends, as well as standardizing the practice of putting north at the top of a map. In the medieval era, the world built upon the mapping advancements of the past. In the Islamic world, scholars used Ptolemy's methods and learned from their journeys across Africa, Asia, and Europe, while Abbasid Caliph al-Mamun commissioned geographers to redefine the length of a mile and calculate the circumference of the earth. Many new methods were created during this time, like spherical trigonometry and map projection, while cartography schools were formed. Next came the Renaissance, when advanced mapping truly developed, with the age of exploration and colonization of the New World requiring accuracy. Portuguese and Spanish navigators used mathematical principles from Ptolemy, moving along coastlines. They used a telescope to observe them, a sextant to measure the distance between objects, a compass for direction, and an hourglass for time, measuring how long it took to travel along a coast to see its length. Triangulation was also common, finding the precise location of a point by forming triangles from known ones. As for map design, mapmakers generally used woodcut and copper plate intaglio, where terrain was chiseled into either hardwood or metals, then traced onto paper to make relief maps, though lacking fine details. However, most distortions of this time were primarily due to map projections, as it was difficult to make a spherical earth on a flat map. This changed in 1569, when Gerardus Mercator created his infamous projection, drawing straight parallel lines along the latitude and longitude on a world map keeping the accuracy of shapes closer to the poles but increasing their size, which is still used today. From the 18th to 20th centuries, further explorations and advancements helped improve mapping, like France's Académie des Sciences, or states' military maps to prepare for war, such as Britain's Ordnance Survey in 1791. Overall, cartography has a long and complex history. Early on, maps were made of local areas based on terrain and evolved to include cities and regions, with various tools used by surveyors. Ancient civilizations such as Babylon, Rome, Greece, China, and the Islamic world developed the practice, creating advanced mapping by the Renaissance. European explorers and cartographers then created many maps, navigating along coasts using tools such as the compass and methods like triangulation, achieving greater accuracy with the Mercator projection. 